Okay, this video is going to be a programming walkthrough, which will show you how to make a program that can take in one angle and then give you the value of each trig function, sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent all at once. So here's how it works. Um, you just press enter to run and then it'll ask you for an angle. And keep in mind that whatever mode your calculator is in, that will determine how the program evaluates the angle. So we are in degree mode right now. So I'll just do, for example, 45 degrees. And then it shows me the value of each of the six trig functions. And I can just press enter if I want to enter another angle and get six more trig functions and then clear to quit the program. If I want to evaluate angles in radians before entering the program, I would just hit the mode key and then come down here and change to radian mode. You'll notice it changed up there to say radian. And then run the program again and enter an angle, say pi over three, and I'll get six trig functions for that. And in places where one or more of the trig functions are undefined, like for example, at pi over two or 90 degrees, you can see it will tell you one zero undefined for tangent, cosecant's one, and then secant is undefined and cotangent is zero. And that will work for any angle that has um, discontinuities like that. So now I'll go into the walkthrough portion of the video where I will program everything out on camera. Um, if you would rather not sit here and watch me do all that, um, <clears throat> There's a link in the description where you can just download the program from the internet and then upload it to your calculator. That link will show you how to do all that as well. Or alternatively, if you prefer, the same link has a screenshot of the whole program listed out in case you just want to look at that and type it into your calculator on your own. And also I'm going to crop the video like this. Um, hopefully that allows you to see the screen and the buttons that I'm pressing a little easier. But if you dislike this format, leave a mean comment or something, and then I will possibly change it for the next video. But anyways, um, starting from scratch, you'll just want to start a new program by pressing the program key, and then scroll over to new, hit enter for create new program. And then I will call this trig six so alpha is already selected t r i g and then i want a number so i'll press alpha six and then hit enter um, so for the first line i'll hit program and then scroll over and then for clear home i'm gonna instead of you could scroll down and then hit enter and enter it that way or you could uh, just see how there's the numbers next to each command you can just press the corresponding number so i'll hit eight for clear home and it'll just automatically put it in the line that you're on and then hit enter for a new line program input alpha lock angle space, close quotes, alpha comma, alpha A, enter, zero, store as, alpha F, enter, program six for output, one comma, or sorry, two comma, one comma, second alpha, S-I-N, second math equals alpha space, alpha close quotes, and then close parentheses, then enter for a new line, program six for output again, two comma six, comma, sign, then this time you hit the sign key, 
alpha, or sorry, A, close parentheses, close parentheses, enter program output three comma one comma alpha lock C O S second now enter alpha space close quotes close parentheses enter program output three comma six comma cosine key alpha a close parentheses close parentheses enter program if cosine key alpha a second math equals zero enter program then enter program go to which is option zero on this list one enter program else enter program if sine key alpha a close parentheses oops second math equals zero enter program then enter program zero for go to two enter program else enter program scroll six four comma one comma t a n equals alpha space close quotes close parentheses enter program output four comma six comma tangent key alpha a double close parentheses enter program output five comma one comma c s c equals alpha space uh, close parentheses or close quotes then close parentheses one divided by sine key alpha a Close parentheses, close parentheses, enter program six for output, six comma one comma alpha lock S E C equals close quotes, close parentheses, enter program output six comma six comma one over cosine key of a close parentheses close parentheses enter program uh, output seven comma one comma alpha lock C O T equals alpha zero alpha close quotes close parentheses enter program output seven comma six comma one divided by tangent key of A close parentheses, close parentheses, enter, program, zero for go to, and then three. Enter, program, label, which is option nine, one, enter, program, six, or sorry, 
program scroll six uh, for output four comma one comma alpha lock oops alpha alpha lock open quotes t a n equals and then undefined and then in parentheses I put um, inf because it's infinity technically it's undefined but um, the function goes to infinity at, at that angle. Um, close quotes, close parentheses, enter program six for output, five comma one comma, quote C, S C oops, C S C equals space close quotes close parentheses enter program six five comma six comma one divided by sine key of A Close parentheses, close parentheses. Oh, and this, I made an error here. This shouldn't say repeat. This should say output. And then output again. Six comma one comma open quotes. S E C alpha. Space undefined space alpha INF close quotes, close parentheses, enter program output. Seven comma one comma open quotes C O T equals space close quotes close parentheses enter program output seven comma six comma Cosine key alpha a divided by sine key alpha a close parentheses close parentheses and then you reach the end of the line and it automatically puts you down here it's kind of weird you press enter and you're on the next line there's that gap there but that's okay um, program zero for go to three enter program, 9 for label, and this is label 2, enter, then program, scroll 6, for output again, 4, comma, 1, comma, alpha lock, T, A, N, equals, close quotes, close parentheses, program, Six for output four comma six comma tangent of a close parentheses close parentheses enter program six for output again five comma one comma oops comma C S C 
equals un defined space alpha i n f close quotes close parentheses <clears throat> new line program output six comma one comma s e c math oops s e c math second math equals alpha space close quotes close parentheses enter program output six comma six comma one divided by cosine key of alpha a close parentheses close parentheses enter program output for the last time seven comma one comma and then alpha lock c o t equals alpha lock again undefined alpha space parentheses alpha i alpha n alpha alpha f close parentheses close quotes and close parentheses enter program zero for go to three and then program nine three enter and then we're going to do six of the same line program disp quotes and just do that five more times program disp quotes Quotes program disp quotes program disp quotes program disp quotes that is one two three four five six of those and then hit enter and then program and scroll down to stop. Okay, that should be it. Um, you don't have to save anything. Um, <clears throat> just press second mode for quit to get out of the programming window. And then if everything was typed in correctly, um, it should run. So just press the program key to run it and select trig six, hit enter, hit enter one more time. And then it'll ask for an angle and we're in radian mode. So I'll do um, pi over two. And that gives us the value for each one of those trig functions and tells us it's undefined at tangent and secant. And if I do a different angle, pi over three, I get an error. And that is because I did not put and open quotes here so do that I just pressed second insert um, while I was selected on that C that's how you insert a character and then um, alpha and I'll do the open quotes there we go um, that should be the issue <laughs> uh, second quit um, if I run it again and do pi over three there we go and if I do some other random number, uh, yeah, it still works. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please ask. And thanks for watching.